Hello viewers, welcome to my new lecture. You are watching me on my YouTube channel Zahur Islam Official. Today the topic of my lecture is hemorrhoids. So what is hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids, they are actually the swollen veins in your lower rectum. So most of the patient with anal condition complain of piles regardless of what anorectal symptoms they have. Hemorrhoids, they are enlarged displaced anal cushions derived from engorged veins mean when the anal vein or when there is swollen vein in your rectals and your lower rectum first degree hemorrhoids remain in the rectum while the second degree hemorrhoids they are prolapse mean come outside but reduce spontaneously so Hemorrhoids is directly linked with surgery, with surgical disease. Hemorrhoids, they are enlarged, they are displaced and anal cushions, they are derived from the engorged vein. And first degree hemorrhoids, the rectum that is remain, while in second degree hemorrhoids, the rectum is their prolapse but reduce spontaneously where is the third degree hemorrhoids prolapse and have to be replaced manually or remain prolapse permanently until repairs so it means that for third in case of third degree hemorrhoids the pro prolapse is permanently over there until it has been repaired. Also do a digital rectal examination to exclude the carcinoma. Hemorrhoids developing during pregnancy should be managed conservatively as most will resolve after delivery. No treatment is required for hemorrhoids that are asymptomatic. Avoid the use of purgatives. So as you know, sometimes uh, the patients, uh, they have complaints of hemorrhoids and they are used or get used repeatedly but in case of for example whenever there is hemorrhoids during pregnancy should be managed very cautiously so there is no need of treatment um, if the hemorrhoids is asymptomatic so you should avoid the use of or get use. what are the causes of hemorrhoids the first cause is there is increased intra-abdominal pressure. For example, in case of chronic cuff, in case of pregnancy, in case of intra-abdominal or pelvic tumor. So, there increase the intra-abdominal pressure. The second cause is familial free disposition. So, most of the cases which are observed in our society that is familials, that is genetic. Or anorectal tumor and the secondary cause of the are the secondary hemorrhoids main causes anorectal tumors. What are the different symptoms? Which are reported by the literature, or what are the different symptoms related to hemorrhoids? The initial symptoms appear there will be the passage of bright red blood at defecation mean during defecation or during removal of nitrogenous waste or waste products there will be a bright red blood the discharge is there is mucus there will be mucus in the discharge and there will be swelling at the ns and there will be a perianal uh, uh, irritation or itching sensation that is called pruritus. Another symptom of hemorrhoids is there will be discomfort after opening the bowels. In after defecation, the patient feel discomfort. Pain occurs only during an acute attack of prolapse with thrombosis, congestion, 
in edema. So we can clearly differentiate between sign and symptom. Signs they are usually inspected by, they are examined by the physicians. And the symptoms they are observed by the patient himself. And signs, the inspection of NS may be normal. There is redundant folds of skin tags may be seen in the position of hemorrhoids and strainings may show the hemorrhoids. And third degree hemorrhoids, there is there is extreme level of swelling at the NS. The internal hemorrhoids, they are not palpable. Palpable means when you touch it or in the internal hemorrhoids, they are not palpable inside the rectum unless thrombosis. So, I mean whenever there is thrombosis occur. The patient may <coughs> present with a complication of hemorrhoids, for example, profuse bleedings, prolapse, strangulation, thrombosis, infection or ulceration or severe anemia. The patient will must have present the complication of hemorrhoids. For example, in case of hemorrhoids, there will be uh, a loss of blood. Uh, there may be chances of rectal prolapse and uh, uh, there is strangulation, mean vasoconstrictions or thrombosis is occurred chances of infection or ulcerations or severe anemia. So if you want to investigate the case of hemorrhoids, so you will have to perform the FBC full blood count and then proctoscopy, the gold standard for the technique which is used for the or the gold standard for the diagnostic or sigmoidoscopy. <coughs> to exclude the carcinoma of the rectum. These are the investigations. Come to all the treatment protocol. The treatment objectives are to correct the anemia if present. If there is anemia condition, then it should be corrected to relieve the symptom and then to prevent the complications. And non-pharmacological treatment increase the intake of fluid and roughage. So, during hemorrhoids in the anus or in the large intestines, there is low quantity of whenever there is low fluid intake, so mean the chances of hemorrhoids they are maximum. Increase the intake of fluid and roughage, avoid the prolonged staining edifications. You should avoid the hot flaces. Per prolapse hemorrhoids, lie the patient down and elevate the foot end of the bed. Try the gentle digital reduction. After application of local anesthetic creams, if the spells apply the cold compresses or sedation of patient may be required. For infected hemorrhoids, warm sits baths two to three times a day. So the simple pharmacological treatment is when associated with constipation, liquid paraffin can be used oral for adults 10 to 30 ml at night or Sena granules oral that is also available. And adults one sachet with water after suffer. When associated with local itching or discomfort, so ointment or suppositories with or without steroid applied or inserted annually. So it can be inserted into the anal in the rectum. For adults, one suppositories that is 12 hours leap or 7 to 10 days. Mean after each 12 hours, it should be suppositories should be continued for 7 to 10 days. When associated with local itching or discomfort, so the ointment or suppositories with or without steroid applied or inserted NAD. And adults, one suppositories 12 hours leap after. 7 to 10 days. If hemorrhoid is infected, then in case of antibiotics, gentamicin can be used in the form of IV and adults 40 to 80 milligram after each 8 hours. 3 times a day for 5 to 
7 days plus you can use metronidazoles which is anti infect or anti amoebic in nature or else in adults 400 mg 8 hours for 5 to 7 days mean after each 8 hours the alternative treatment is you can use ciproploxacin tablets orally in adults because this is the drug of choice for GIT infection 500 mg after 12 hours plus metronidazole orally and adults 400 mg at hours for 5 to 7 days or if these are not available then amoxicillin oral and adults 500 mg at hours after each 8 hour and then metronidazole oral for adults 400 mg at hours for 5 to 7 days when associated with anemia then you must will have iron preparation like ferrous sulfate and fumarate or blood transfusion is indicated so which we have already discussed for example if there is anemic condition at the end blood loss is occurred then you must will have to administer the iron preparation in the form of ferrous sulfate or blood transfusions it is also much and more important the patient should be referred to a facility with resources for injection sclerotherapy rubber band ligation and operative treatment if indicated so once again thank you so much for watching my lecture inshallah i will continue this lecture from another disease that is amoebic liver abscess so what is amoebic liver abscess in its treatment protocol so if you have any question regarding this current lecture so i am available for any kind of services thank you